Hello, hello my friends and welcome to Instant Auto Electronics channel. This is Uncle Misha and today we have uh, some device to repair and this device is Sony Minidec MDS S707 mini disc. Huh? This is freaking awesome. So I got this baby uh, for cheap, I think. Oh, it has even push. Um, uh, for uh, cheap and it's apparently broken. So today we're gonna take a look what the heck is it. Apparently it doesn't uh, take the discs. Uh, and I do have a, they remember if you remember from previous video, I do have a single mini disc and I'm really interested to know what the hell, what the heck is on it. Maybe it's nothing, maybe it's not working, maybe this thing is not working. But anyways, we're gonna take a look today what we have. So, if because this thing is deemed as non-operational, what I have to do is actually open it, examine to see if anything is okay inside, the fuses, anything blown, anything, cap capacitors are okay, shorted, if it's dirty, cockroaches in there, I don't know, you know, like, um, just to make sure it is clean and it's safe to turn on. And then we're gonna turn it on and see what's going on. So, let's take it open. So, it has one, two, three, four. Three, four, five screws to each side and one over here. Let's quickly unscrew them. So I have removed five screws. Here they are, just at the regular self-toppers, self not just M3 or M4, M4 and bolts like I to open this thing. I have on other decks or cassette decks. This is not cassette deck. Yay! Okay, here we are. Ta-da! Okie dokie, let's zoom in. Okay, so we have uh, obviously the, the, the drive over here, so mug MD drive right there, mini disk drive. Over here we have um, power supply and transformer power supply, not switch mode power supply. That's very interesting. Obviously, very not safe stuff here, so it's not protected in any way. I was I'm wondering, why wouldn't they just put some kind of plastic cover on it? Like, Jesus, like it's extremely super pooper easy. Looks like they do have a common mode choke over here, capacitor, um, this. And some more unpopulated actually capacitors right here. That's it on this side. There's a whole bunch of this primary side, secondary side, there's a whole bunch of outputs. So probably they have one, two, three, four, maybe, yeah, they have several voltages right here. It's not just like, you know, 12 volt or anything or 18 volt. This probably uh, uses also voltages for um, a display over here, it's a vacuum fluorescent display. Um, that's it. There's a big ass capacitor, 1500, mm, 15,000 microfarads, 16 volt. That's nice one, Nichicon baby. And the majority of here looks like not majority. Everything is Nichicon, which is good. Which is really, really good. It's not as crazy populated as I thought that would be. Looks like bunch of ICs right here and right here, and they are bottom facing so this is just the back of the IC so this is potentially this is dual sided load one side is a, um, a through hole and the other side I'm not sure if you're gonna would like to open it up other side may be SMD surface mount there are some unpopulated uh, over here some populated business and here some unpopulated business over here yeah Interesting. And over here, some populated business. Huh. Okay. Interesting. What's this about? This is some kind of connector right here, right? That's right here. This is seems like it. They also can have a tree output because there is one footprint unpopulated right here. There is a line output right here, and line input as well. Yeah. Interesting. This is probably amplifier. Those two probably operational amplifiers as well. Nice. Okay, so looks like everything is okay. There is I don't see any dirt, cockroaches, I don't see any burn marks. And there's no fuses, believe you or not. No, there's no fuse. Interesting. Unless there is some kind of fuse right there. 
there is a big ass chip right here with this kind of substantial uh, cooling. I'm not sure if this is voltage regulator judging by the proximity to the power supply or that's something else or some kind of power thing. Uh, I'm not sure this thing has can drive any speakers so technically doesn't need big amplifier. So there is a, a, a magnetic drive uh, right here. Um, seems to be everything is fine with, with this thing. Um, the case right here has some cracks, right the one crack. There is also board, probably a lot of uh, controls, uh, controls logic runs right there. So I'm not sure where is the main processor. There is a big S I see right here. So I assume this is the main processor. Uh, but uh, at the moment, I don't want to pull this board out. Like I don't know why. Like I don't need to. Uh, and this board is probably just a board to drive all these knobbies and to do indications there's a whole lot of stuff going on and the vacuum fluorescent display right here so looks like everything is good so what I have to do is to should I just close it yeah for safety I'm gonna just close it back on just uh, gonna pop this lid just because I don't wanna you know shock myself accidentally Oops, while I'm poking around. Yeah. Okay, now it's gonna be better. Gonna just power it up. Okay, we have stand. stand oh, it's, it's, it's blinking. It says standby. Standby. Uh, I can tell that uh, vacuum fluorescent display is a bit of a kind of um, how do you call it? Uh, getting old or aging because the standby text is not, especially it's it's not as visible on the naked eye, but through the camera, it's, it's you can see how uneven the, the letters are. LED over here is is very shiny, so gonna zoom out. That's probably gonna be better. Oh yeah, you can see much better as this LED. Okay, now I'm gonna turn it on. Okay. Uh, okay, yes. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think I can adjust the brightness of the display. Yeah, this may be a little bit better for you. Okay, so it says no disk. And it says one, two, there is numbers over here, level sync, blah, blah, blah. So it looks like uh, vacuum fluorescent display is working. So nobis, I'm not sure what those nobis do. Not sure what is all display, play mode. Oh, it uh, changes, red. Right here in the bottom it changes. Shuffle, program, mm -hmm. then timer. This means really nothing. There's a, oh, digital in. Oh, it looks like I found the dicky switch. Yeah, this switch has issues. Looks like there is bad content here because it keeps switching between... It doesn't even have coaxial. I'm just wondering where the coaxial came from. I just I just saw text here saying coaxial. Digital in, that's digital in. Then I supposed to switch it to analog in. Yeah, maybe it's okay. Can I just spray something into this thing? Hmm. You see, you see? I switched it to analog and it's just switched to analog then digital then analog again so yeah there is a yeah oh yeah oh yeah you see it's switching yes so this is a bit of a problem so over here there's a button rack mono rack mono and this guy is not jumping so clearly we have to get to the switch I'm just curious how easy is that but that's okay that's that we'll figure out so there is record level edit no yes interesting what the heck are those yeah, it's probably some... I don't have the user manual, I still have to download it from somewhere. Alright. 
Okay, so now the moment of truth. So what are you gonna do? Are you gonna take this? Oh, you know what? You're gonna power it off. I know it's I just contradicting myself not to turn it on without the lead. But I wanna see what's happening with the mechanism when I'm putting the disc on. So I'm gonna be careful. Okay. So here is the disc. I never actually done this in my life. So this is first time ever I'm inserting mini disc into mini disc deck. There's also, as you notice over here, something crooked. So this has to be repaired because I don't believe it was like supposed to be like that. Looks like this guy actually had the tumble. Looks like. Okay, so it's powered up, and now we're gonna insert the disc. Doing something. Some hairs here. Whose hairs came from? It says blank disc. I'm not sure if you see it says blank disc. So it said it so what now? Can you play something? Of course, there is nothing there. Uh seems like Seems like it's working! Damn it, I don't have any audio now. It's a bit of a problem. Huh. Alright guys, I've never done this before. So this is the first time in my life actually inserting this sort of disc in a mini disc player. Okay, let's see what's gonna happen. Okay, here we are. It took, it took the disc. Take it stopped. What's that supposed to mean? Uhti! Okay, look at this. It says blank disc. So this disc which I acquired from from some random person is actually blank. That's very interesting. But luckily Thanks to Red Man Records, I do have something to try. Obviously, if this thing gonna, uh, you know, if it's not operational, it might ruin the disc. I hope it's not gonna ruin the disc, but this disc seems to be okay, not scratch, didn't scratch anything. So, what are gonna do? I'm gonna pull one of my Red Man Records discs and gonna try now. Okay, so, um, so this disc was featured in one of my uh, sort of mini mailbox kind of mailbag um, videos and here we are this is double mini disc from Red Manor Records and just right now in front of you gonna open it up and gonna try it on this device and see how that gonna be I hope it's not gonna be ruined I hope I hope okay oh my love it Okay, I'm not sure if it's disc one or disc two. I just I don't wanna you know take it apart just like this. I'm gonna grab it. Max it's actually Maxal. And you insert it like this. Eh, pretty neat, actually. Okay, let's see what's gonna happen now. I'm gonna put it to the side. Disc A has 10 tracks, 44 minutes, 10 tracks, 44 minutes, 44 seconds. This is kind of amazing. I hope you see that. 44 minutes, 44 seconds, 10 tracks. Okay, now I have to grab some kind of headset and play some music. Okay, uh, I know this thing not gonna give it justice, but because this music probably, highly likely, is content protected, I better use the shittiest headphones just to make sure they it's not gonna kick in and my video won't be flagged all right so the shittiest headphones are here i hit play honey beard black skies this is what's playing right now and it's playing
Next one. Flashback. Yeah, here we are. It is playing. 23 seconds of track number 2. I didn't know that actually this thing does the rewind. So not rewind, but forward and back. So now it's tech track 3. Oh, ho ho! Now I cannot understand one thing. The person who sold me that sold me this thing as for parts and repair. Well, I do see that there are a little bit cracks here and things like that and probably have to address this dicky switch right here but it just freaking works. If I'm not gonna record anything, I don't even care touching this little thing but I would like to record anything, mind you, I would like to. So now when I have this empty disk, we know now it's empty, I would like to actually record something using either line in or optical in. Optical in, eh, I, I don't know, but for line in definitely I can do something because I don't know, I don't have any actual device which would do recording over optical, like um, which outputs data over optical. I have only DAC, this poor man's DAC, which would take this data and play it, uh, I mean um, convert to analog. But yeah, I don't have vice versa. Okay, I'll figure out something. At least I can record something using analog. Wow, it freaking works. Amazing. So I do have a record, a uh, mini disc player for 40 Canadian dollars. What do you guys think? Is this thing worth 40 Canadian dollars or not? Uh, yeah, hard to tell. Maybe it was, maybe it's not, but I'm certainly having a fun. Okay, so this is gonna be part one of this video. Um, when I uh, this far, so it's essentially a no repair video. It's just essentially unboxing and trying some mini disc, and they works. The second video I actually tried to open uh, this front and clean up this switch right here because everything else seems to be good and dandy so I don't have to really fiddle but looks like in order to get in here I have to disassemble all this jazz so yeah it may take some time and in that video also I'll try to do some recording because now when this switch is not working recording is not gonna be happening but I'm pretty happy also I'm pretty happy that they have those um, mini disc from Redman Record it's not like they sponsored me or anything that I'm telling you that many times, repeating the name. I just like the the the, the fact that you can just buy mini discs and LPs many 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 years after they were mainstream. So I think this is cool. All right, guys, I'm gonna be wrapping up on this one. Thank you for watching. Um, if you wanna see videos like this, repair and poking around with some electronics, please like. Uh, to help my channel grow, subscribe and ring a bell if you want to know uh, about new videos which are being released. Thank you for watching and see you next time.